as you were studying pre-calculus, you see a point and start to wonder, does this point lie on, inside, or outside the unit circle? Well, you're in luck because we're teaching you how to determine if a point lies on the unit circle or not. Let's start! But before that, what is a unit circle? The unit circle is a circle with its center at the origin of the coordinate plane and with a radius of one unit. Any circle with its center at the origin has the equation x squared plus y squared equals r squared, where r is the radius of the circle. In the case of a unit circle, the equation is x squared plus y squared equals 1. This equation shows that the points lying on the unit circle have to have coordinates x and y values that, when you square each of them and add those values together, equal 1. How about we try to apply what we've just learned and practice? My team and I provided some questions and we'd like you to join in and answer too. Now that Gabe has explained briefly about the unit circle and how point works, let us try it ourselves. Here's our first example. How do we determine if the points negative square root over 3 over 2 and points negative 1 up lies on the unit circle? Well, Jasper, our first step will be remembering the equation x squared plus y squared equals 1. The next step would be substituting the x and y values to our formulas. Thus, it becomes negative square root of 3 over 2 squared plus negative 1 half squared. To simplify, it becomes 3 fourths plus 1 fourth, which equates to 1. Thus, the point negative square root of 3 over 2 and negative 1 over 2 lies on the unit circle. The next given example is negative 1 fourth and 3 fourths. So the first thing that we're going to do is we need to substitute the x and y values of the formula x squared plus y squared is equal to 1. Right after we substitute negative 1 fourth the x squared and 3 fourth the y squared, the next thing that we're going to do is to evaluate negative 1 fourth squared plus 3 fourth squared. So right after we evaluate, the equation becomes 1 over 16 plus 9 over 16 is equal to 10 over 16, and 10 over 16 is equal to 1. And if we convert it to the decimal, 10 over 16 becomes 0 0.63, and 0 0.63 is not equal to 1. Therefore, the point negative 1 fourth and 3 fourth does not lie on the unit circle. So for the example 3, we have here square root of 2 over 2 and square root of 2 over 2. We must use the formula x squared plus y squared equals 1. Our next step is to substitute. So it becomes open parenthesis, square root of 2 over 2, close parenthesis squared, plus open parenthesis, square root of 2 over 2, close parenthesis squared, is equals to 2 over 4 plus 2 over 4 equals to 4 over 4. And if we will simplify it, it will become 1. As you can see, the sum is equal to 1. Therefore, this point lies within the unit circle. That is all for the example 3. Let's now proceed to example 4. For our last equation, our given point is 0, 1. To know if the point lies in the unit of the circle, we must apply the points and substitute it to the formula x squared plus y squared equals 1. After that, the equation becomes 0 squared plus 1 squared. Since the equation equates to 1, we can conclude that the point lies on a circle. Let's move on to our summary. So here's our summary. We have learned that for a point to lie in a unit circle, we must always remember that the sum of two points must always be equal to 1. It is shown as x squared plus y squared equals 1. If x squared plus y squared is equal to 1, then it is on the unit circle. If x squared plus y squared is less than 1, then it is inside the unit circle. If x squared plus y squared is greater than 1, then it is outside the unit circle. Our team would like to say thanks to Sir Christian William Moore for giving us a chance and opportunity to educate and to spread our knowledge despite the pandemic. Thank you so much for watching and adelante!